inside of the panel isn't just acoustical absorption, there's also a diffuser, the diffuser core. George the Tech. Hey everybody, George the Tech. I'm inside my booth here because I want to test out some acoustical panels that were sent to me. And the best way to do it is to really put them in your booth. What I've got here are acoustical panels from the company Proso Acoustic. I met them at NAMM show this year in Anaheim, California. They were nice enough to get me a couple of their unique panels to try out. So right now my booth is pretty well treated. It's got the stock acoustical foam that comes with the Studio Bricks booth. This is a Studio Bricks one, so it's a rather small booth. But right now it's got some enhancements in it, including some bass traps like these. So these bass traps are actually controlling the low end of the booth quite a lot. Well, I thought they're kind of bulky. Maybe there's a better way to do it. And I've got some panels that we can try out as an alternative to these big chunky bass traps. So let's hang one on the wall right here. I've got a strap all ready to go to provide a place to hang a panel and test. And then we'll take a listen and see how it sounds. So let's take a look at one of them. Here's the back of the panel with a little extra hook that I added to hook the panel on this strap over here. And what's interesting about these panels is what's actually on the inside, which I'll be showing here on the screen. The inside of the panel isn't just acoustical absorption. There's also a diffuser, which they call the diffuser core. The diffuser core is a way to get more performance out of the material that's inside the panel by just diffusing the sound that passes through the acoustic layer. And then on the return, the sound is scattered, passing through more of the acoustic absorbing layer. That's the theory, right? So I'm in the booth here and you can maybe pick up on some of the low frequency resonance. Yeah, I probably hear it in the room acoustically more than my microphone is hearing it. But nevertheless, there's a bit of a resonance in this room. It's a common problem with these small booths. Well, let's see if we can make an instant upgrade by adding one of these panels. I happen to have two of them, but let's start with one and see what kind of a difference we get. So I'm gonna hang it right over the existing acoustical foam like that. And now we've got that additional layer of absorption in here and I can already hear the difference. The corner over here has no treatment in it. It's sort of an empty void. So there's a little bit of reflection off the corner over here, but I can tell there's some better low frequency control immediately just by adding this one panel to my right. It's taking up another couple of inches off the wall, but it's still an acceptable amount. And you'll notice I have it up pretty high, so it's right next to my microphone. I might actually even raise it higher than that so that the center of the panel is right next to my microphone to get the most bang for my buck. But I can hear the difference. It's pretty significant. Just adding one roughly two by two foot panel really does make an acoustical difference. But what do two of these panels actually do to improve the room? Well, my theory is if I put the other panel right on the door, right over the glass, then I'm gonna hear a huge improvement. And that's my theory, and since I've got two, we might as well put it to the test. Okay, I got the other panel, and I came up with what I think is a very clever way to hang it. Let's hope it works. Just to temporarily test this out, I put a cloth belt over the top of the door, shut the doors, which is holding it in place, and the rear of these panels, which is really nice, has a French cleat, which the buckle of this belt should slip right inside of and hold. Let's find out if my theory works. Getting it centered is not going to be easy, but it doesn't matter if it's perfectly level for this test really, does it? Don't move on me, buddy. There we go. That should do it. It pretty much perfectly fits across the door on this Studio Bricks booth. So now I've got a Proso acoustic panel on either side of me. Even in this pretty confined booth, I still have a decent amount of room to move around. Again, maybe I would move this panel up a little bit higher since my microphone's so high and I'm so tall, six feet tall, I wanna have a little more wingspan. So having this panel on the right higher may actually be quite helpful. In fact, what the heck, through the power of editing, I can do this right now and show you how it works. Okay, let's go ahead and hang this on the loop. There we go, that gets it up nice and high. Now both the panels are about 
six inches or so from the ceiling on either side of me. I can move my arms around. My arms are basically below the panels, so they're not really encroaching on my arms too much. So I'm not losing too much of my usable space in here. And the improvement in sound is pretty dramatic. There's still a little bit of a very low end resonance in here, which I know is a big problem because it's the size of the booth. It's gonna have a resonant frequency of around 75 to 80 hertz. And if I can sing low enough, I can find the frequency. Don't know if it's resonating in the microphone, but I can hear it. However, the mid to low mid stuff that was still bouncing around in here and making it not sound so great, it's gone. The Pro's acoustic panels are doing a fantastic job tightening up the sound and making it sound the way it's supposed to sound, which is a focused, clear, non-resonant sound of my voice. So they clearly work. They're really good looking. Other unique things about them is they're washable and the fabric is changeable. Because of the design of how the fabric is attached to the rear, it's very easy to remove the perimeter of the panel. Just like a screen, you can remove this rubber surround, pull that out, and the fabric comes out. So you can wash it. Or you can say, I want new fabric. Call them and say, I want a different color of fabric. They'll ship it to you. You wrap it around, use one of those screen tools to roll the rubber into the channel, and now you have a whole new panel without having to do stapling, gluing, any of that stuff. So there you have it. There's the Proso Acoustic Wave Panels. Brilliant design, reasonably priced, and in a small booth like this, if you've already got the existing factory acoustical treatment, you might be only needing two of them. In an ideal world, I would probably would have three, one on either side and one behind me. That would give me the absolute best bang for my buck, I would say, in terms of treating a small space but they definitely work as advertised. Really great stuff. Well, thank you Pros Acoustic for sending them over. I'm really enjoying playing with these Wave Pro panels. I hate to ship them back to you, but you did send me a return label, so I'll ship them on back as promised. Thanks so much everybody for listening. I hope you enjoyed this acoustic demonstration. And if you like acoustic demonstrations like this, tell me, write down below in the comments. I'd love to see more acoustic booth tuning and acoustics demonstrations, and I'll work on that. Anyway, thanks for listening. George the Tech out. See you around the web. And don't forget, George the Tech is a team now. There's a whole team of folks at georgethe.tech ready to assist you with your specific home studio software and technical needs. Look us up.